Hey guys, Oz here, bringing you another video. Now this video is World of Warcraft, uh, as uh, you can probably see from the title and the footage now on the screen. Occasionally I do videos of other games, and I, yesterday, I don't know why, I had the urge to resub to WoW. Uh, not going to take it seriously, not going to raid or anything like that. I just wanted to jump on it. And uh, so I thought in this video, I'm going to give a bit of backstory behind uh, my World of Warcraft, you know, time. Uh, I'm, I, I always class myself as a PC gamer, and if you are a big PC gamer, the chances are you have played World of Warcraft at some time in your kind of PC gaming career, if you want to call it that. Uh, but yeah, I really love World of Warcraft. Uh, I miss it slightly, I miss raiding, etc. Um, but Mr. Pandaria, it, it just didn't click it for me. The guilds, you know, when I, I was a raid leader and a guild leader of a guild, it just didn't make it for my guild either, and we fell apart. And that guild was going since the very start of Wrath of Lich King. So, I don't know, a three, four-year-old guild? And Mr. Pandaria just tore it apart, and the guild now is inactive, and I logged in, and nobody's online. Uh, so, yeah, it was a bit sad to see the, the guild kind of die, because it was one of the biggest guilds. Uh, on the realm in its day. Uh, but anyway, I thought this video, I'm going to give a bit of a backstory behind my World of Warcraft time. Um, I, some people have asked me in when I'm streaming, and even in private messages, I've had some people saying, do you play WoW? We could play together, and that type of thing. So I thought I'd give a bit of backstory. I am on the realm, Anachronous EU. I would probably say this is the most dead server ever. I logged in, and there is literally only one person in Ogrimmar other than myself. I was like, well, this is awkward. And that's even with their realm meshing that I know they have now. Um, so if I ever were to get into World of Warcraft again, I would probably just transfer one of my characters with all my gold on it. I think I've only got about 50k. It's not a lot. But with all my BOAs and everything just in bags and send it to another realm. Because Anachronus is dead. There's no hope for Anachronus anymore, I don't think. Um, so this is the guy himself. This is the Huzzy. This is where it kind of started with me. This is where my name come came from, obviously. Um, now, the the actual origin for the name Huzzy came from a friend that had the name Fuzzy. He played World of Warcraft before me, and because my surname um, begins with a H, I just changed it to Huzzy, and it was that simple. And you'll probably notice with all my alts uh, having similar names, you know, Jersey, Cuzzy, etc., it was a kind of signature that I had with my alts that made it so everybody knew that I was on that character. Because being a guild master or a guild assist for a very long time, it was useful for when people knew, you know, what character I was on. Um, so he was a warrior. I played Huzzy from very late Burning Crusade. I never got him leveled up the whole way. Um, and I got him maxed into um, level 80 when Wrath of Lich King came out, and I started raiding with him as a arms warrior uh, in Nax, but occasionally doing off-tanking, as a lot of the gear I got actually was for tanking, unfortunately. Not much arms warrior gear dropped at the time. And then, for like, I didn't main Huzzy very long. Like, I have, like I went back to him in Mr. Pandaria, but I left him alone. Um, so everybody called me Huzzy, but my most of my World of Warcraft career, I'd never played Huzzy. Uh, I played him during Nax, and as soon as Ulduar started... We started a raid group, and there was three warriors in it, and no druid healer at the time. So I thought, right, I'll go druid healer. So I decided during uh, Aldoa to go on my druid, who is called Oxor, and you may know the name from something else. Uh, you can tell that I was a fan back in the day. Uh, so I was a druid healer in Aldoa, and when TOC came out, I was a healer for that as well. TOC was a, an okay raid, I suppose, but not my favourite. Uh, I was a fairly decent healer. Not, you know, saying that I was amazing, I was decent, I could keep people up and everything was fine. Uh, then ICC started. And I, I went for my druid for quite some time. Uh, I think we... No, we didn't clear it. We were close to clearing ICC um, when we started to, to do 25 mans with another guild. We'd merged with the guild, uh, still keeping our separate identities, but did 25 mans, which I raid leaded with, alongside the other... Um, GM of the other guild and my GM because at the time I was only the guild assist uh, but the raid leader anyway uh, well one of the raid leaders and um, in the 25 man we had a few hunters that came in and out but we had no 100% hunter attendee and we didn't have an enhancement shaman I don't think at the time or if we did they were already geared so all this gear was going to waste so then I decided, right, I'll level my Hunter. I really enjoy playing Hunter. You know, Hunter was my actual class I probably enjoyed playing the most. I was leveling it casually. So then I just decided to power level it, and bam, this came along Zuzzy. 
Uh, now, Zazzy was my character that I've actually mained the most while playing World of Warcraft. He was originally a Blood Elf, then he turned into a Goblin when Cataclysm came out. Uh, and then after that... Oh, wait, no. He went he went Blood Elf, Orc, Goblin, Orc. That's what he's done. I was just tempted to make him into a panda, but then the guild kind of fell apart. And I didn't really bother with uh, Zuz in Mr. Pandaria. Um, but I do really love Hunters. You know, when Hearthstone comes out or when I eventually, if I do get into the beta, I will be playing a Hunter deck as I kind of like all the secret traps and that type of thing. Uh, as that, I think that will be really enjoyable. But yeah, Zuz was my... I don't know, he's my go-to like hero. I keep saying champion because League of Legends is in my head so much. But I basically started uh, ICC as soon as I dinged this. The very next day, I went into an alt run, and I actually got geared fairly well in that alt run, I remember. Um, and I changed my main. I went to Hunter, went in a 25-man, and I actually became the most geared in the guild within a month. And my druid was actually the second most geared. So two of my characters were the, like, the most geared or in the in the top three or four of the guild which is pretty funny and basically what we did from then heroic runs that type of thing and i actually was raiding on two characters i did what my group uh, that i raid leaded the heroic group in my guild on my hunter and then the heroic group for the guild we did 25 mans only their 10 man version i went in on my druid because they needed one more person and i either healed or i went in boomkin form so i raided a lot in icc as i really do enjoy that instance um, now we have all my other alts that I have raided with a little bit, but not a whole lot. Now Warlock, I haven't raided with at all. I was leveling this up to become my main as we were trying to rearrange the group a little bit to give us a little bit more DPS. Um, but then the group kind of fell apart in Mr. Pandaria. My Shaman, I've always had, always had quite fun with my Shaman leveling it up. I've leveled it up in Elemental, I've healed with Resto, and right now, well, one, eight months ago when I was playing, I was leveling it up in Enhancement. Uh, my mage, nothing really to say about my mage. I've raided a little bit with it, but not too much. Mages and me never really clicked. Uh, my priest, I raided Dragon Soul Heroic with my priest, 10 man. Uh, I wasn't a great priest healer. I recall asking people, how do how do I do the AoE heal in Holy? Because I uh, came back to World of Warcraft and I said to the current raid leader when I had a break, what do you need for the heroic group? And they went, a priest healer would be really good. So it took me two weeks from level 1 to level 85 uh, it was, back then in Cataclysm. Uh, two weeks to go and then I got geared up and I went into the raid group. And I basically said I'm, I want to do disc. I enjoy doing disc healing but they needed holy for certain fights and I hated holy. Uh, after a while we tried to change the group around and I mained Hunter then after that for a short period of time. Um, but then things happened there was a bit of drama within the guild and then mr pandaria came out and then i went to my warrior uh, my paladin uh, i've never made my paladin it was just an off tank that we had in alt runs or a main tank sorry it was just a tank in alt runs because we are a guild that did many uh, alt runs we had my monk um i never really clicked with monks i would actually probably enjoy monk healing um but i don't know i just could never be bothered to really level it to full i don't know full level and then my druid that I actually made yesterday just to make a character jump on WoW. I have every single like BOA item in the in the game, but I forgot to mail it all over because it spread across all my characters. Like I only mailed over what was on this guy, and that wasn't everything, I don't think. Um, so that's pretty much my WoW history. I've never really PvP'd. Uh, I know PvP, some people take that pretty seriously in WoW. But if I were to do PvP in an MMO, I'd go do it on Guild Wars 2, as I personally prefer the PvP system. And, you know, I've got a max level on Guild Wars 2 as well. Um, but that's it. I thought as well in this video, as well as, as you know, explaining uh, my WoW history, I thought I'd make a, a character. And I don't know why. Uh, I thought I'd make a Wargun Death Knight, as I've never really made a Death Knight. Uh, I've never really done an alliance, I've never done a wargun outside the starting area, so I may as well, you know, make something. I've got full BOA. I don't even know if I'm going to continue playing WoW. I just kind of had the urge to log on, um, see what's happening, that type of thing. And I don't know, you know, Blizzard in October, I think it is November, oh, it's October or November, they're announcing the next expansion. If it's going to be great, I you know, I might resub depending, you know, I'm going to university in the next two weeks. Let's just, you know, I'm going to see what people play. If they're all league players, then I'll just play league with them. But if some of them play WoW, if they have a guild, I don't know, I might join them. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, let's just quickly make a wargun. I prefer, I think I prefer the dark uh, wargun. Obviously, these skin colors do affect the human, but that's pretty fine. 
face. So this changes the snout and all the wrinkles and that type of thing. I always find it quite weird with the Death Knight that uh, you can go like really light, like icy. That's actually pretty cool, actually. But it makes him like pale as a ghost, and I don't really want him to be pale as a ghost. But saying that, you're not really in human form a lot, are you? From what I know. We'll go with that. He's pale as a ghost, but... Oh, well. Um... The white beard, I always was a bit confused of why is that just like randomly there. Oh, wait, this is hair. We'll go with that. Hair colour. Oh, that just affects. Just go black, I guess. Uh, ears and the little goatee thing. That's like streamline look. That looks pretty cool. I kind of find it funny there's Mr. Pandari music playing while I'm making a Death Knight, but... Oh, well. <laughs> We'll make it like that. Okay, that's cool. Right, we'll name him Ruzzy. Uh, you, yeah, as I said, there was a trending thing. But anyway, this is World of Warcraft. I'm on Anachronous EU. If you want to play with me, I'll be Ruzzy or Huzzy if you're on Horde. I don't. You know, some of you may even know or have seen me on WoW and not even realised. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, more content to come out soon. May do some WoW content, but very unlikely. If I were to do anything in the Blizzard. Uh, games, all that type of thing, it would either be Hearthstone, well, I will say that, when Hearthstone comes out, there will be Hearthstone content on the channel, I'll probably do a separate series that just is a Hearthstone video a week, uh, that I think would definitely be happening, and I don't know, maybe Starcraft in the future, but League of Legends is always going to be the biggest game on this channel, 100%, so thanks for watching, this is World of Warcraft, and I will see you next time.